Hi, I'm the Noodle Hunter, and today I've got one from a Japanese company, although it is produced in Hong Kong. Tonkotsu flavored instant noodles made by Nissin. Weighing in at a whopping 100 grams of dry weight and a calorie content of 440, Tonkotsu ramen is a signature dish in Japan which has a pork broth base, but now in an instant ramen form. Will this instant ramen give me the authentic tonkatsu experience? I guess we'll find out by getting started. Okay, so I was expecting more than two satchels because it came from such a big bag, but in saying that, they give you a lot of soup base, which means it's gonna be very flavorsome and a healthy amount of seasoning sauce. The seasoning sauce seems to be a very oily consistency, so you know what I'm gonna do. Ooh, that's a lot of flavor in that. I can taste like a sweet soy sauce kind of base to the sauce. <coughs> oh, it's really salty as well. I do not recommend sucking it straight from the packet. Ooh, my favorite part, cooking these noodles. Oh yeah. Well, eating them is always like, oh shoot, I made a mess. Actually, I think I need quite a lot of water for this one to submerge these noodles. But I came prepared with some chopsticks and a spoon. Oh yeah. I really had to push that down as well. Oh man, I didn't even notice. If you look really carefully, there are little sesame seeds in there. That's a nice touch. Wait, that's what Tonkotsu Ramen has. What am I talking about? Am I uneducated? Should I really be reviewing these noodles? I don't know. All right. Ah, oh, okay, so straight off the bat, the flavor is a little bit weak. Maybe because I added too much water. But it does smell like tonkatsu ramen, so that's a big plus. Alright, now to wait these arduous long three minutes. Ah. Okay, so it's been about three minutes, and man, I can smell the flavor through the pot. You know that's a good sign because it's going to be awesome and flavorsome. So are you guys ready for the grand opening of tonkatsu instant ramen made by Nissin? Alright, let's mix it up. Ooh, it looks like it's cooked quite well. You probably look at this now and there's not much color to it, but I wish you could smell through the camera because you always taste the stock first and smell it too. Oh, wait, I gotta try that one more time. Wow, you can really taste the tonkatsu flavor. This tastes quite authentic. Oh, I have to do one more sip just because I'm starting to like the soup. Pro tip though, I would probably cook these noodles in a separate pot then add a little bit less water so that you can get more tonkotsu flavor. But hey, the flavors are on point. I, I just want to come back for more. Oh, and there's little sesame seeds. Oh, by the way, if you're allergic to that, I would not eat this. You will probably die from an anaphylactic shot. Shock, I mean, but dang. It's authentic. The flavor is a bit weak, but that's my fault. So, you know, I can taste the pork. It's not really thick and oily like what you usually get in Japan, but that's not what you want unless you're really into that. When I eat tonkatsu ramen in Japan, they just put way too much oil and fat. And I get like crazy stomach aches, but this is a good amount. Like, just wow, this is good. I give this soup an 8 out of 10 just because it's authentic, it tastes authentic and you probably expect it to taste authentic because Nissin is a very popular company in Japan and everybody eats their noodles over there, at least I think they do anyway. Alright, now let's move on to the noodles. The color of these noodles are a little bit white so that is a bit worrisome. Usually when you eat instant ramen, they're more yellow. No, not instant ramen, real ramen, but hey. Oh my god. I think I just stumbled on gold. Wow. These noodles. Oh my, I gotta start eating. Wait, hold on. Be patient, guys, because this is amazing. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. Just chewing on these noodles, it's pleasure. It's like al dente, but it's like not a like a pasta al dente is this al dente where 
when you chew on it, you think it's going to dissolve in your teeth, but then it just bounces right back at you. Like, there's so much going on in these noodles. It doesn't look like much on camera, but damn, holy. I gotta try it and do it one more time and try it. Oh my god. Mm. Wow. These noodles are so good. Like, they're not getting soggy either, which is a big plus as well. I reckon you can, they definitely, I reckon they definitely hold their shape if you over boil them as well. This is just amazing. This isn't even a snack. It's got 100 grams of noodles in it. It's more like a meal. And imagine cracking an egg into that and some pork. Oh, wow. These noodles would taste amazing. Oh. Mm. Never had so much pleasure on chewing on things like this before. But wow, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to give these noodles a solid 9 out of 10. You guys probably think that I'm overrating this, but... In my opinion, these noodles in the soup, wait, I need to combine them together. As you can see, soup, noodles. Mmm, yeah. Mm. This is just wow. It's a very authentic taste. A little bit weak, but like I said, it was my fault. But if you find these noodles in the shopping center, you definitely need to try them because it's gonna give you kind of like the entree to the true flavors on tonkatsu when you ever decide to travel to Japan. This is just awesome. Anyway, if you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed eating this ramen, hit that subscribe button because you can join me on this epic adventure every week when I introduce you to the world of instant noodles. And hit that like button because that would be giving me some more instant gratification as well. I'm gonna see you guys all later.